Hi everybody. So today I'd like to give you some examples, a uh, little introduction to parallel lines and perpendicular lines and slopes, looking at them on a grid, like on graph paper. So the website that I'm using here is called desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S.com. And it's really nice for being able to graph things quickly so that you don't have to get out the graph paper and work things out uh, very slowly to find where the coordinates are or where the slopes of different lines are. So we're going to look at some example questions. We're going to talk about parallel lines, perpendicular lines, and slopes. So here's our first example question. It says, line Q has a slope of negative 5 sixths. Line R is parallel to line Q. So what's the slope of line R? Well, first let's graph a line that actually has a slope of negative 5 sixths. So here's an example of a line like that. Y equals negative 5 sixths times X plus 2. This negative 5 sixths right here is the slope of the line. It means any point that we start at, if we go down 5 and over 6, we'll be at another point on this line. So we have a slope of negative 5 sixths. So hopefully you can see right away in our question, we're looking for another line that has the same slope. Any line that has the same slope to this original one will be per parallel to that original line. They both go down 5 and over 6. So the answer to our question here, what is the slope of line R? Well, it'll have to be the same as slope as the slope for line Q. It'll have to be negative 5 sixths. Now, what if the question, instead of asking about a line parallel to our line, had asked us for a line perpendicular? If we were asked for a perpendicular line, here's an example of a perpendicular line at a right angle, we would want to have a slope of 6 over 5. And you see how that's not just the positive version of our starting slope. It's actually the positive version, and it's the reciprocal. It's been flipped over. So instead of 5 on top and 6 on the bottom, we now have 6 on top and 5 on the bottom. It's also got the opposite sign here. We call that the negative reciprocal of the original slope. So perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes is what you're going to want to remember. If we started with this slope on our original line, our perpendicular line would have that slope right there. All right, let's look at another example. Example number two says, if the equation of our line called line E is y equals negative four thirds x plus nine, line F is parallel to line E, then what's the slope of line F? Okay, well we can do that pretty easily by graphing this line, and we want to look at how this line, y equals negative four thirds x plus nine, looks. It's going to have a slope of negative four over three, and it's going to go through a y-intercept up here at nine. Now all we're looking for is the slope of a line parallel to that. Well, I can draw in a line parallel that to that just by having the same slope, negative four-thirds, and I can change this value of the y-intercept to really any number that I want. And we'll have a parallel line to our original. So the answer to our question, if we're looking for the slope of line F, it's parallel to this line, so it'll have to have that same slope of negative four-thirds. If we had been asked about a perpendicular slope, well then, something like this, with a slope of three-fourths, would be what we're looking for. Notice that it's positive three-fourths, which is the opposite sign, and it's the flipped over version of the fraction. So we call that the negative reciprocal of our original. All right, let's look at our third example. So if we get rid of these lines, what if we are given coordinates instead? So here's an example of a question that you could be given. Uh, line A passes through points 2 comma 8 and 10 comma 1. Line B is parallel to line A, 
So what is the slope of line B? All right, well, here are these two points graphed on Desmos. Uh, notice all I have to do is put them in the normal point graphing notation with some parentheses around, a comma in between, and I can graph 2 comma 8 and 10 comma 1 very easily right here on my graphing page. So if I want to find the slope between these two points, I can just count the boxes down 7 and over 8. So I have a slope of negative 7 eighths. And as we've seen, if we graph any line that has a slope of negative 7 eighths, it should be parallel to a line that goes through those two original points. So if their answer to our question would be, we want to have a slope of negative 7 eighths on the line that we're looking for. If we had been asked for a line perpendicular to the line that goes through to, through these two black points, then we would have our slope be 8 sevenths. Notice that's the negative reciprocal of our original slope. One more example. So here's our fourth question. Line B passes through these two coordinates, and line C is parallel to line B. What is the slope of line C? Well, if it's parallel to the line that goes through these two points, we just need to find the slope of the line that goes through the, these two points. Now, I would recommend pausing the video here, going onto Desmos, graphing these two points, and trying to find the slope yourself before you unpause and see if you're correct. All right, welcome back. Hopefully, you correctly we're able to graph these two points and find them on your graph. If we zoom in just right, we can find the slope is we would have to go up 33 and over 12. So our slope is 33 twelfths. And if we graph any line that has a slope of 30 up 33 over 12 or 33 twelfths, it will be parallel to the line that would go through those blue dots. And therefore, we know that the slope we want is 33 twelfths. Now, if we had been asked about perpendicular, we would have a slope of 12 over 33. Is that right? No, it's a very common mistake for people to just flip over the fraction for your slope. But what you really need to do is notice these two lines are not perpendicular when I do that. I want the negative reciprocal. And notice now, when I do the negative 12 over 33 and positive 33 over 12, those two lines are perpendicular. So make sure that you're careful with your slopes and you should be able to handle both parallel and perpendicular lines.